Steph, I've been trying all the exercises over the past week and nothing is helping. I still have this like severe pain going down my leg. Like what the hell is going on with my back? Yeah, I totally understand that. And I think like what we talked about, the good news is we ruled out those red flags, right? So no changes in bowel or bladder function, reflexes and sensation all intact, no progressive weakness. Those are all things that would mean that there's something a lot more serious going on. So we can be confident that they are not. However, you're still dealing with this pain. Yeah, and this so. is really serious. I have like fucking excruciating pain down my leg. Yeah, it's crappy. I understand that. I know we ruled out red flags, but I'm still dealing with a severe pain and I wanna know what's going on in my back. Yeah, I think like we discussed last week, we can't ignore the fact that there might be some structural stuff going on, whether that be disc or nerve root involvement. Those two things aren't inherently painful on their own, but if you also have an active inflammatory process going on, that can absolutely cause some of the severe pain that you're describing. Either way, it might mean that you would be a decent candidate for something like steroids, whether that be oral or injectable. So clearly there's some structural stuff going on. I get it, but like, why is my back hurting? I didn't do any trauma. Like, it doesn't make sense. Well, we can't say anything for certain, but here's some things that might make a little bit more sense. You and your wife just had a baby, so you're not sleeping as much as you normally would. You're sitting a lot more than you normally would with this baby. You're not exercising as you usually do. You're not in your normal routine. And you have history of low back pain. Those are all things that, again, though we're not certain, can predispose you to something like this happening. Regardless though, we've got a plan now. We're gonna get you to the doc, see what your options are regarding steroids, and we're gonna go from there. All right, let's just do it, because I'm sick of this pain. Do it. Okay. Embracing uncertainty around an acute low back pain situation can be really intimidating for both the clinician and the patient. This is because in these situations in particular, people are often coming to us demanding answers, but there's no way that we could competently give them direct answers for everything. That being said, this is a great opportunity for us to be transparent with our patients about the many things that could be potentially contributing to their situation. When discussing these things, structural and beyond, it's important to embrace uncertainty of things while still being able to lead them with conviction on their next best steps for them. Again, all of this is on a case-by-case -case basis and it's a really difficult thing. Feel free to reach out. If you have any questions, we're happy to discuss.